I love all y'all. I love all y'all that view my channel. All y'all. I love girls, 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 girls. I do adore. And put your number on this paper. Cause I would love to date to holler at you when I come off tour. Hey, look. Um, but on the subject of girls, 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 we gonna jump right into it. Um, Joe Button, he got he has a show that he does with Remy Ma, a guy named Jinx, and a young lady by the name of Scotty Beam. It's called State of the Culture, right? <clears throat> and they talk about the hip hop culture. They talked about the state of the hip hop culture and what's going on, what's relevant in the world, and what's what's popping in the hip hop world or black media. Period. So it's a young Instagram model by the name of Brittany Renner. And she has released a tell-all book. In that book, she's discussing celebrities that she's had sex that she's had sex with, including Colin Kaepernick, um, I believe Lil Uzi Vert as well, uh, just to name a few. And Joe Budden and Br and uh, Scotty Bean, the young lady Scotty Bean, they go back and forth because Scotty is upset. Well, Joe Budden says, and I only saw a small clip, so y'all gotta pardon me. Uh, Joe Budden says that accountability well he said that it's something wrong that's that's wrong to do that and scotty bean replies men do it all the time but men do this all the time and he's like hold on hold on wait a second wait a second see we got to stop this women have to be held accountable well women have to hold other women accountable for heinous acts that they do and not just dismiss it to say men do it too we got to stop that. We got to stop that. And that's what I wanted to pick up on. Y'all may have seen videos that I made before um, addressing this topic. I know that there's a lot of women. There are a lot of women or a nice amount of women that follow that subscribe to this channel. Um, I'm never disrespectful to women. I grew up in a house full of women. My mother, my grandmothers, all of them been instrumental in raising me. But I'm always going to be honest. I'm never going to be biased to be to to sway toward one audience more than the other. I'm going to be cut and dry down the middle and honest in my opinions and observations. I've always observed this. I've talked about it on Twitter. I've always observed that a lot of women have a hard time holding other women accountable for their actions. And what they'll do is say, well, I mean, men do it too. So it is what it is. And try to chalk it up to that. And we got to stop that. We got to hold individuals accountable and make them responsible for the things that they do and tell them when they're wrong. Women got to do that because when we do it, we look at like we we, we we hate women. They When we do it, men are accused of hating women, being women bashers, and that we have always negative things to say about women. We never positive when we talk about women. And that is the furthest of truth when it comes to me because I'm always going to defend women. I'm always going to defend y'all when I believe one of my brothers is coming at y'all disrespectful or wrong. Uh, outright just outrageous. I'm always going to stand up for y'all and I'm always going to be on the front lines for y'all whenever y'all getting attacked. But I'm going to be real and I'm going to be in, in real all across the board. I've seen it so many times. For example, where well, we've seen situations where um, uh, like when Black China play Rob Kardashian, right? When she played him and she was basically gold, she, being a gold digger, she chose her baby daddy. She chose a rich guy, um, preyed on him being, um, pr pr like basically preyed on him being uh, vulnerable in a state of vulnerability, uh, him having low self-esteem, low, uh, yeah, low confidence in himself. And she capitalized on that. Had a baby by him and started doing whatever she wanted to do, run around with all these other celebrities, all these other dudes that ain't even celebrities. A young Chicago dude, she was out here, had him in Rob Kardashian in bed and his role flexing and stunning. And she was wrong for that. Like she violated that man and all type of like just craziness had him out, like basically had him out here looking like a clown. And I was like, this is crazy. Like, this is not acceptable. She wrong for that. She filed for that. And I had women come out on the front lines and say stuff like, men do it all the time. As if that excused the heinous act that she did. That don't excuse that. And I'm not, I'm not absolving men from doing foul things too. Because I know a lot of men do some foul stuff. Like, I know that. You know what I'm saying? I, these are, these are, we are the same thing. I've seen it with my own eyes. And thing with me though, if my homies do something foul or heinous, I'm going to call them out on it. I'm going to tell them like, listen, bro. I'm not going to do it in front of everybody, but I'm going to tell them, look, bro, that's not right. That's wrong. 
I don't agree with that. You should have handled it another type of way. And then we can go about discussing. I'm going to try to help him rectify the situation. I'm never going to act like if he does something outlandish or just completely disrespectful, I'm never going to act like, um, it doesn't matter. Or, oh, I'm never going to say something like, well, women do it all the time. So it is what it is. Like, no, that's wrong. And it's disrespectful. Like black China preyed on that boy and took advantage of him. And y'all can say, oh, well, his sisters do the same thing, whatever. That has nothing to do with him. That's a foul act. And she got to be held accountable. Y'all got to hold her accountable for actions like that. Because if you don't, she'll keep doing it. And y'all just keep big and big up in her. And well, what is the side? What, where does society go from there? You know what I'm saying? We both two wrongs don't make a right. Hopefully my people, my other uh, men do their, do their job and telling men when they're wrong. Cause I'm going to do it. I can't speak for all men, but I'm going to tell you I do it. And we need women to say, Call out when they sisters do something wrong. Because if I do it, I'm a um a chauvinist or I'm um I'm sexist or I, I hate women, I'm a woman bash and stuff like that. Like, no. Women gotta be held responsible for, for the wrong things that they do, regardless if men do it too. We're not talking about men in this situation, we're talking about this woman and the acts that she committed. So you cannot excuse a woman for doing things just because you've heard a man do it too. Men do things, <coughs> a lot of things that aren't right. That doesn't make it right for another person to do it. Women do things that aren't right a lot of times. That doesn't mean it's okay for me to do it in return. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Well, we got people just doing whatever. This society just goes to ruins. Like, come on, man. That's It's an equal balance between male and female. You know what I'm saying? Both both women can't try to act as act like males. Women, men can't act like women. <coughs> or try to just retaliate against each other all the time. It got to be some type of equal balance. And what I'm saying is, if you see, if I'm, I, I told y'all with that Gloria uh, Govan and Matt Barnes situation, I said Derek Fisher was fouled for talking to his ex teammate, his ex teammate's ex wife, and they all used to kick it together and be around each other when Derek Fisher was with his wife, and. He in there driving that man's car, crashing in that man's whip, all type of crazy stuff in the house with that man's kids. But that's his ex-teammate. You don't cross them type of lines. You don't do that. You don't cross them type of boundaries. And I said Gloria, Gloria was fouled for messing with her ex-husband's co-worker. Like, that's wrong. Because if he did that, he would be all type of names in the book, all type of MFs, all type of low-down, dirty scumbags, all type of crazy stuff. You know what I mean? So, <coughs> as if if he would have, this is the thing, when, when she did that, when Gloria Govan went out there and talked to her ex-husband's uh, former co-worker, everybody said, well, men do it all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa. We not talking about men. We talking about her. Let's talk about her actions. That's not okay for her to do that just because men do it all the time. Come on, man. She got, like, at that point, when people do things like that, what, do you care about how people look at you and your reputation? At some point, like, it ain't about get back or, or me and do it all the time. You got to think about how you going to look in the situation and, and just, you got to more. I feel like morality has to come into play at some point. Morals got to come over everything. Morals have to come before revenge, become, come before, oh, well, the opposite sex does it. So it's okay for me to do it. No, we got to have some type of morality and be grounded in morality to say that, no, this is not right. I'm not going to do it just because other people do it all the time. You know how crazy, like other people do a lot of foolish stuff. Just because they do it, you know how stupid I would look to go out and do the same thing? Just because they do it too? Come, like, what would I, like, come on, man. Like, I would just, we would lose sanity at that point just because other people do this too. If I go run and do it, that don't make it, the situation no better. That don't make me <clears throat> no better than them. It make me just as worse as they are. You know what I'm saying? So when, What's the girl name? Scotty Bean. And she was trying to deflect it by deflect the situation back to men. When he's saying that, she wrong for that. Men do it all the time. Men make songs about messing with girls all the time. Like, listen, that don't make it right. And the men shouldn't do it either. And by the way, I've rarely, rarely heard songs. Now, y'all can call, call out the Quavo song when Nicki Minaj just made a song about uh, the Barbie dreams. And Quavo responded to doing something with Nicki and all that. That's clownish behavior anyway. He might have been just joking. But if he was for real about messing with her and he put it on Front Street... He a lame because pillow talking is never cool. Kissing telling is never cool. <clears throat> I got, excuse me, I'm a little sick, but I hardly ever hear rappers 
name drop celebrities like the girl that they actually mess with all the time. Except when the game did that lame, corny stuff. But even though there are some dudes that have done it, that doesn't make it right for her to do that. Especially throwing Colin Kaepernick's name to get some buzz out of here. Knowing that everything that he's fighting for and everything that he's trying to do for our people. And I feel like you shouldn't condemn Colin Kaepernick for that anyway. Because a lot of... So he has sex with a young lady. A lot of people have sex with uh, people uh, casually. We've seen it before. A lot of men of prominence have done it before. That doesn't take away from the fight that he's doing right now. Just like if a woman was to have sex with somebody, she's on the front lines. It wouldn't take away from her <coughs> her actions or her fight for our people. So I'm never going to use that as a thing to say, oh, he's not who he say he is or she's not who she says he is because she has sex with somebody. That happens. People do that. <coughs> people, that happens. You know what I mean? But... I'm just saying that, like, women have to hold other women accountable for these things. You can't, <coughs> damn, I'm coughing so bad, but you can't just brush it off to the side and say, well, because men do it, hey, it's okay for her to do it. No, she wrong in that. And y'all got to correct y'all, sister. Being, a, um, standing up for, um, for, for women's rights or speaking on behalf of, uh, speaking on, <coughs> speaking on behalf of women and, um, calling for women, Equality, you still gotta call out when you for your when you for women, you when you're for men, you're for women, you're for black people, whatever you're fighting for, you still have a responsibility to tell them when they're wrong, is what I'm saying. I said a lot of mumbo jumbo, but I'm coming back to it. When you're fighting on the front lines for who is it, women, men, black women, black women, <coughs> black women, black men, whatever, you still have the responsibility to tell them when they're wrong and when they're doing something that is not right. No matter what your agenda is, you have to tell them when wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like when we're escaping from doing the right thing. And that's all I'm saying. And I feel like a lot of women don't own up to that because they just so used to, they've been hurt so bad from a lot of men <coughs> that they just say, you know what? Men do it too. It is what it is. While we can't do the same thing. And while you can't do the same thing, society always will judge women differently than men on different things. Unfortunately, it's not fair, but it is what it is. <coughs> Double standards are always going to exist in life, period. That's like if I was to hit a young lady physically, hit her, I would be looked at as a vile human being. I'll be looked at as a low life or, or a scum. If that young lady were to hit me, <coughs> you got people that would be laughing at the video. We had Solange. When Solange was hitting on Jay-Z, people cracked jokes about it. If Jay-Z if Jay-Z would have been hitting on Solange or Beyonce, it would have been all out war. War War Five on this man. You know what I'm saying? It just would have been like that. And that's the double standard that there is in society. We have men do things that are even though it's wrong. Even though they engage in wrong activity, if a woman does the same thing, she's going to be looked at as like, man, you're supposed to be better than that. Unfortunately, we it's not we don't it's not <coughs> it's not fair, quote unquote. But that's how society is. But what I'm saying is that and get away from all of that. What I'm saying is that everybody should be held accountable for their actions, no matter if the opposite sex does it <coughs> just as much as they do it more. If the opposite sex does it more, that doesn't make it right. You know what I'm saying? If a man says, if a man starts drama, he's gossiping, and you say he, and you tell him, "Don't do that. That's not okay for you to start gossiping, create petty drama." And he responds, "Women do it all the time." We gonna look at him like, "What, bro? Are you crazy? Just because women do it, you think that's okay and it's acceptable for you to get it? You, we're not gonna give you a pass for that because other the opposite sex does it because women do it. No, that's wrong. That's like if a woman, <coughs> um, got was messing with." Uh, a friend of her ex, a friend of her ex boyfriends, that wouldn't be okay. She could say, "Oh well, men do this stuff all the time," and women should say, "No, but that what does that make you? That doesn't make you better to do that. That's not that doesn't make it okay." At some point in society, we can't just start doing whatever and thinking <coughs> one consequences aren't going to come upon us or act as if like it is what it is, and we just going to keep doing because that and that. When it when it comes to that, everybody's just gonna start doing foul stuff, and just because they do it too, they do it too, and morality is gone. And I don't want us to get to a point in society where we just playing tag. I, you did it, you do it all the time too, so I'm gonna do it too. 
Oh, you do it just as much. Men do it just as much. I'm going to do it just as much as they do. Women do it just as much. I'm going to do it just as much as they do. Like, you see how silly that sounds? It sounds very juvenile, very childish. And nah, <laughs> I was with Joe Button. Like, you got to call her out for that. Like, that's not okay. Because a lot of men, you got to respect some men's privacy. When you try to tell all about all your sexual escapades with these individuals, some of the, a lot of these men don't want their sexual escapades broadcasted for everybody to hear. Just like you would want a woman to be afforded the same courtesy. You know what I mean? Now, everybody doesn't do the same. Not all men follow that code, but they should. They should respect a woman's privacy and not um, air out her dirty laundry and business in the streets. But you wouldn't want a man to do that and air out a young lady's laundry. So why would you do the same thing to a person just to make a buck? I don't think that's cool. I don't think that's respectable. I think it's other ways for you to make money. I think it's other ways for you to uh, express yourself on a platform to, to to gain a following or to just <coughs> to be heard. You know what I mean? If you, it's I, I don't think that was the right way to go about it. Pre creating a tell-all book and blasting all these these, these your sexual es escapades with these men. You don't know what they got going on right now. They could be married. Um, they could be having a family right now and they did those things before then. They don't want their image tarnished. And you could say they shouldn't have did it if they want the, they didn't want their image tarnished, but again, people make mistakes and the same way a woman will be afforded the same courtesy or should would want to be afforded this uh, same courtesy. I'm not going to say she should she would be afforded the same courtesy because we don't know that. We have some men that have violated that, but she would want to be afforded that afforded that same courtesy. I feel like men should be respected in the same manner. And we shouldn't have a stipulation just because, oh, men do this, so it's okay for women to do that. Like, nah, like, at some point, both of us got to stop. We both got to stop the clownish and foolish behavior and get to a common ground. We can both equally view each other as with respect and say, <coughs> we shouldn't do that. That's not okay. And get rid of all the BS that we got going on. You know what I'm saying? Don't engage in the BS behavior that's wrong on both sides. You know what I mean? So, again, I'm going to lose a lot of people from saying what I said. I hope not. But it's a lot of people. I've seen a lot of women that, and attach themselves to a feminist movement in order to not hold women accountable for the negative things that they do. And that's just me being honest. I've spoken about it before in other videos. I'm all about uplifting women. I'm all about, um, especially, especially <coughs> the black woman because she's just the most, um, she, she's not spoken up for. She's the most forgotten about, one of the most forgotten about women as well as, uh, the Native American woman as well. But she's one of the most, uh, forgotten about, uh, women, period. But what I'm saying is, <clears throat> wrong is wrong on both sides. You got to call it even. Got to call a spade a spade. Just because a person does something more, the opposite sex does something more, does not mean it's okay for you to engage in the same behavior. That's all I'm saying, y'all. And we got to call it out. When women try to attach themselves to the feminist movement in order for you to silence a man from critiquing you or saying, being honest and saying that that wasn't okay for you to do, we get villainized for it, for saying that it's not okay for her to do. It's not okay for a woman to do that. Not a woman. It's not okay for her to do that. It's not okay for anybody to do that. <clears throat> but when we say a woman shouldn't do that, we get villainized and say, you just saying it because you're a woman, because it's a woman. And if you were doing that, if your friend was doing that, you wouldn't say that. No, I'm not that friend that's not going to hold my friends accountable. I do. You can ask them. So I feel like everybody should be held accountable all across the board. Um, but I don't think women should be given passes for things just because men do it too. I don't think <coughs> men should be given passes for things just because I don't think men should be given passes for things just because uh, women do it too, or just as much or even more than men. You know what I'm saying? I don't live in that world. We got to call a spade a spade. If somebody doing something wrong, whether it's man or woman, hold them accountable. The men hold your men accountable. Hold these young men accountable for their negative actions. For the, for the irresponsible things um, and irrational thinking and all the negativity that they, that they got going on. And women should hold uh, other women to that same standard as well and hold them accountable as well. And that's all I got to say, y'all. Peace.